Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GamerTube, and welcome back to our Puppy Playtime character concept series. Apologies for my voice throughout this video, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, but no worry, I am feeling better, so all good. So, recently, Mob Games has released the new skins that you can get in Project Playtime. And one skin that sticks out in particular is the one Fargy Wuggy, which is the famous fan-made character from Game Tunes, Killy Willy. So considering that Mob Games has actually acknowledged this character and made it a custom skin for Huggy Wuggy, I'm guessing this kind of makes it canon and kind of adds it to the story as well. Now, do I think that Killy Willy will actually be incorporated in Chapter 3? Not really, I think it's a really low percentage, but that doesn't mean we can't have some fun and make our own story as well. So in this video, we'll go through Killy Willy's backstory, their location, their gameplay mechanics, and all that good stuff as well. And as always, I will just say that this isn't necessarily into the overall universe and lore of Poppy Playtime. I do understand that this custom fan-made character is made and owned by Game Tunes, and I'm not saying that this is our own character concept, I'm just saying that the story is our concept as well. And lastly, before we start today's video, do be sure to subscribe to GameTube as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with all the videos that we post. Alrighty, well, let's take a look at the character concept and the custom story of Killy Willy. So previously in our Poppy Playtime character concept series, we've taken a look at the newly introduced enemy, Boxy Boo. We took a look at what their role might be in Chapter 3. In the end, our main protagonist managed to escape Boxy Boo only to have them return once again in their feral state. The player managed to extract Boxy's soul from their body and finally defeat them once and for all. But now the player will come up against one of Playtime Co's darkest secrets. The company has tried to contain them for as long as they could, but now they're finally broken free and revenge is the one and only thing they seek. So, the next character we'll be looking into is the most dangerous toy of all, Killy Willy. Killy Willy has had quite the sad and dark backstory. Killy wasn't always the bloodthirsty killing machine we know today. Some time ago, he was actually quite a friendly character. At one point before everything went wrong, he was known as Silly Billy. Silly Billy was meant to be a new and exciting variation of the original Huggy Wuggy. But what came out wasn't what the workers were expecting. Due to his bizarre and goofy appearance, he was deemed defective. The workers decided to send Silly Billy into the incinerator to erase their mistake. But the raging fires wouldn't be enough to get rid of Silly Billy. Instead, something much more sinister was born. The fires charred Billy's skin and deformed him. And from that day forward, Killy Willy was born. His burning hatred for the workers was the only thing that was keeping him alive. Killy Willy crawled back out of the incinerator and slaughtered everyone inside. On that unfortunate day, Playtime Co. lost a great number of workers. Killy rampaged through the factory, devouring anyone they could. Eventually, they were able to contain him. They locked him away in the deepest, darkest area of the factory. There was no way he could be able to break out. The workers did everything in their power to make it as secure as possible. But there would be one incident that would give Killy the freedom he so desired. When Mummy Longlegs was rampaging after the player at the end of Chapter 2, a lot of destruction ensued as well. The factory was shaking and quaking, and many areas suffered damage including Killy's deep dark prison. For the first time in years, Killy finally saw the light. This was his chance to break out and seek the revenge he so desperately desired. So now we return back to our main protagonist. After dealing with Boxy Boo, they now find themselves wandering around the factory once again. It feels like they've been roaming around the halls of Playtime Co. forever. They can't help but feel like something is watching them. But then again, after everything the player has been through, how could they not feel that way? As they make it into an open area, they finally see what's been stalking them this whole time. Out of an overhead vent drops out one of the mini Huggies. What was it doing here? 
There must have been some surviving mini huggies that have escaped from the Wacka Wuggy minigame. They must have been moving through the vents in order to get around. The player knows not to let these little critters get too close to them, but as long as they hit them with their grab pack, they should keep them at bay. As the player goes to shoot their grab pack hand, something unexpected happens. What on earth is that thing? Whatever it is, the player has to quickly get out of here before they're next on the menu. Killy Willy chases down the player as they try to look for a safe place to hide. They come across a room labelled security. The player rushes through the door and locks it tight. But unfortunately, there's also a large glass window right next to the door as well. Hopefully it was reinforced glass. Killy Willy strikes the glass and manages to do some damage. That glass won't hold up for much longer. The player needs to find a way to defend themselves and quickly. As they explore around the security office, they come across something that could help them greatly. What they found was a security taser grab pack attachment. It simply snaps on and shoots electricity at anything you aim at. This wouldn't be enough to take out Killy Willy, but it could definitely buy the player some time while they make their exit. As they return to the glass window, they can't see Killy Willy anywhere. Where did he go? Maybe he got impatient and moved on. No, it couldn't be that easy. They knew they were still out there, waiting for them. As they approach the door... In a panic, the player shoots Killy Willy with the taser. This leaves him stunned, but not for long. The player only has two more shots left. They quickly make a break for the exit while they still can. Killy breaks out of their stunned state and quickly chases down the player. The player turns around and delivers another shocking shot to Killy. They only had one shot left and they had to make a count. They finally reach the exit and prepare to make their escape. But Killy Willy has caught up with them and has other plans for the player. They couldn't wait to devour them. All that time underground and they haven't tasted real flesh in so long. As Killy goes to eat the player, they deliver their final shot from the taser. But this time they weren't aiming for Killy. Instead, they hit the barrels of flammable chemicals next to the door. The electricity causes them to erupt into a giant fireball. Killy's body is once again engulfed in flames. As the fire burns away their fur, they run off whilst in searing pain. The player knew it wouldn't be the last time they'd see Killy Willy. As we already established, fire isn't enough to kill him, but it would be enough to give the player some time to escape. And when Killy Willy returns to finish off the player, they'd be ready for him, no matter their state or how furious he'll be when he returns. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, as it helps out a lot and is greatly appreciated. So, Killy Willy will be back in a part 2, so keep an eye out for that. And as always, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of Killy Willy, and what you think is going to happen in part 2. Alrighty everyone, well until the next video, I'll catch you later, bye.